no less glorious than war. It is in peace that we have great men, high thoughts and golden deeds. Peace encourages education, trade, commerce and industry. Greater than personal peace is the peace of the nation and still greater is the world peace. A warm greetings to you all. I, Sakshi Christina Karkara of Class 7A would like to brief you today on International Day of Peace. Peace is a concept of societal friendship and harmony in the absence of hostility and violence. In a social sense, peace is commonly used to mean lack of conflicts and freedom from fear of violence between individuals or groups. The International Day of Peace is observed around the world each year on 21st September. It was established in 1981 by the UN General Assembly to commemorate and strengthen the ideals of peace, both within and among all nations and peoples. Two decades later, in 2001, the General Assembly anonymously voted to designate the day as a period of non-violence and ceasefire. The 2021 theme for the International Day of Peace is Recovering Better for an Equitable and a Sustainable World. We invite you to join the efforts of the United Nations family as we focus on recovering better for a more equitable and a peaceful world. Celebrate peace by standing up against acts of hate online and offline and by spreading compassion, kindness and hope in the face of the pandemic as we recover. Peace is possible. Throughout the history, most societies have lived in peace most of the time. Today, we are much less likely to die in a war than our parents or grandparents. Since the establishment of the United Nations and the creation of the Charter of the United Nations, governments are obligated not to use force against others unless they are acting in self-defense or have been authorized by the UN Security Council to proceed. Life is better in a world where peace exists and today we look forward to those who have been peacemakers and peacekeepers to learn what we can do individually to make the world a more peaceful one. Thank you. Now let's watch a video on International Day of Peace. On the International Day of Peace, we reflect on the cruel price of war. Ruined schools, bombed hospitals, broken families, refugees searching for hope, countries in crisis. The United Nations was born from a terrible world war. Our mission is to work for peace, every day and everywhere. No group interest, national ambition or political difference should be allowed to put peace at risk. On this international day, we call for a global ceasefire. We must never ever stop pressing for an end to armed conflict. Peace is the right and the desire of all people. It is the foundation for progress and well-being, happy children, thriving communities and peaceful, prosperous countries. Let us pledge to work together, today and every day, for the peace we all yearn for and deserve. Peace is not just the absence of conflict but the prevalence of justice. It's about hope, opportunity, empowerment, and dignity. Peace guarantees the world is preserved for generations to come by ending poverty, combating climate change, and fighting injustice and inequality. Peace is the ability to differ in opinion, culture, religion, ethnicity, ideology, and yet live united in the same community. It's about how we act toward one another in the face of challenges, instability, and terror. Peace is about respect for human dignity, respect for human life, respect for neighbors and strangers alike. 
A threat to peace anywhere is a threat to peace everywhere. We must think of ourselves as global citizens, not just citizens of our community and country. For peace to prevail, we must bring hope to the hopeless, opportunity to the underserved, empowerment to the oppressed, dignity to the disrespected. The conditions that threaten peace are man-made. It will be the actions of global citizens that will reverse these conditions. Now is the time to mobilize people from around the world to commit to creating peace. We must create awareness, advocate for peaceful communities, and take action. Together, let's make peace possible.